friends, welcome to my channel Eat with Salisa. For my dinner today, I'm going to be making ground beef with potatoes. I've got here extra lean ground beef and this is a kg together. I also have a whole pod of garlic and an inch of ginger that I'm going to crush. Then I'm going to blend most of these spices, which is two tablespoons of coriander seeds or dhania, one and a half teaspoon of zira or cumin seeds. I've got half a teaspoon of cloves. I've got two pieces of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of peppercorns and five uh, cardamom seeds. Besides that, I'm going to put in the oil a, a little bit of cinnamon, a star anise, and three uh, cardamoms. Then I have a large onion chopped up. I have one teaspoon of Kashmiri uh, chili powder, which will give color. I've got half teaspoon of uh, turmeric and two teaspoons of red chili powder. I'm going to be using crushed tomato today and also a little bit of yogurt and of course salt to taste. I have some coconut oil heating in my pan and in will go the three cardamoms, the cinnamon and the star anise. I can see there's bubbles around it. I will now put in the onion. And we need to saute this till the onions get a little brown. Ten minutes later, on a medium-high heat and stirring occasionally, my onions have become a little golden brown. At this point, I'm going to put in the ginger and garlic that I crushed or chopped in my chopper. Once I can smell the aroma of the ginger garlic, I'm going to add the red chilies because I like that to be cooked first. And if I feel it sticking, I add a little bit of water so my spices don't go. So the spices need to be cooked and it gives out its own aroma. Once the water is slightly dried up, I'm going to add all the whole spices that I ground up. I just like to fry the spices so it's not raw in the gravy or the curry again so that it doesn't burn I'll add a little bit of water last I'll add the turmeric A 
little bit of salt. Now it's time for me to add the fresh tomatoes. So that would be one tablespoon, two, three, four. The remaining crushed tomatoes, I will put them in sandwich bags and I'll freeze them for when I need them another time. I'm going to cook this till the tomato color turns a little dark. Then I know it's not raw and it's cooked. I can add a little more water so that it doesn't burn. Now let this cook. Now I can see the oil coming around in bubbles and this tells me the tomato is cooked well. So I'm going to add my yogurt and I've also lowered my stove to medium low and that would be four tablespoons of yogurt. And stir quickly. Again, remember to lower your flame when you're adding the yogurt. And again, I will wait for the yogurt water to dry up until I see the oil separating as bubbles. Then I know the yogurt is cooked. I'm almost ready to add my ground beef. I washed it and I just mush it a bit so it smoothens out and I don't have those kind of curls in my pan because then it's harder to smash them once it's cooking. I can see that the oil is separating which again tells me that the yogurt is cooked. One nice stir and in goes the ground beef. And I'm going to mix this around till I don't see any red of the ground beef. So another 10 minutes later, stirring occasionally, like a kind of stir fry, which is also called bagarin, I can now see that there are no lumps and I can see the oil coming up. If I hadn't to squish it with my gloves, I would have had lumps at this point, but if you can see, it's very smooth. And that's how ground beef or kima should be. At this point, since the oil is coming up, I'm going to put in some water and I'm going to allow it to cook. That might have been about a cup of water. And once it's cooked, it's going to look like this, restaurant style. No lumps. I'm going to cover this and let it cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then I'll add my potatoes and let it cook further with green chilies. 
So my ground beef has been cooking for about 15 to 20 minutes and I did add some more water. It all depends on what consistency you like. In goes the finely sliced potatoes, the two potatoes and two green chilies. It's not going to be very spicy because I did use crushed tomato, I used yogurt which are two cooling agents and the green chilies are just whole, they're not chopped so they just give a little essence of that green chili flavor. So I've got two green chilies in here, I can't seem to find the other but I did put two in here. Oh, there he is. There's the other one. Two serranos. I'll let the potatoes cook. It shouldn't take more than six to seven minutes because they're thinly sliced. I've checked the potatoes. They are soft and it looks like my ground beef is done. I'm going to plate this for you next. And there you have it, my delicious ground beef oak ima with roti. I hope you do try it and let me know in the comments how it turned out for you. Um, if you like, you can reduce the spices if you're trying it for the first time. Uh, but it isn't too too much please like share and subscribe thank you for watching